hi guys welcome back to another video and today we are going to check on this problem associated with startup whereby a phone gets stuck on starting android there are a few causes regarding this issue and one of them being uninstalling the system ui and setting a lock screen let's say a password pin or pattern or updating your device while one of the packages is uninstalled so the only solution here is to factory set the device back to original factory settings and to do so you need to have a data cable connected to your pc and your phone and press the volume up button and the power button at the same time press the volume up button and the power button at the same time and once you see the samsung logo release the power button but keep pressing the volume up button to enter recover mode go ahead and select the wipe data factory reset choice and reset your device this will erase everything including photos newly downloaded apps everything will be wiped clean the next step you're going to do is reboot your device normally but before you do so make sure you wiped the cache partition and once the, and once you wipe the cache partition you can now reboot your device this will take a moment let's say a few seconds and once the phone fully boots up you'll be welcomed with a welcome screen and once you're going to do it is you're going on the emergency dial and dial star hash zero star hash try again and again maybe it's just acting up maybe it's not working the only solution is to be patient it will work but some devices are not supported The next step you need to is you need to enable ADB and to do so we are going to get help from this tool. This tool will help us enable USB debugging. It will take a few seconds, but the work will be done. And now the USB pop-up has appeared. Just close the tool and click on always allow usb debugging from this computer and click on allow 
and now what you need to do is you need to go to this tool and once the tool is open um, with this the, the tool the tool launches you just need to be patient the tool will launch and you'll see all the packages all the packages and applications on your device and what you need to do is you can just simply go to the search panel in the top right hand corner and search for the applications you want to uninstall and once you select them You need to make sure you select all, not all of them, the ones I'm going to show you on this video. So, take your time to watch the video. And the next application, this is the last application you're going to uninstall. make sure two are selected and once you click on select you can go ahead and click on uninstall and uninstall the selected two applications Only one of the two applications have been uninstalled. And the only solution we're going to do is we're going to search for the application again. We're going to search for the application again. And henceforth, we're going to select the application. And we're going to select for the option we're going to apply. And are going to disable it. And are going to disable it. Just click on OK. Disabled applications one of one. It has been disabled. I'll click on OK. Then I'll go on the disabled applications. I'll select them. And then I'll uninstall them. Click on uninstall. And this time, removing or disabling system application will be successful. And boom, the device is ready to go, but not yet. What you need to do is going to this tool. Just click on remove FRP. And once you click on remove FRP, your phone will be good to go and there will be only one more step. Only one more step. I just be patient. And the phone will reboot.
This is taking longer than expected. <sighs> Just click on allow. Make sure you have read and agreed all the above and click on next and your phone will be successfully unlocked thanks for watching and please subscribe for more my name is Arnold and I wish you the very best.